Arnott has been designing air suspension replacement products for luxury cars, trucks, and SUVs since 1989. It is that expertise in air suspension that led Arnott to create its first adjustable air suspension kit in 2007. Arnott's adjustable air suspension kits enable riders to lower their bike while stopped or for parking and greatly improve ride quality while reducing painful bottoming and bumps. In this video, we show you how to install Arnott handlebar mounted push button switch with LED pressure gauge. This video covers the following Arnott kits. K3114, handlebar mounted push button switch with LED pressure gauge in black. K3115, handlebar mounted push button switch with LED pressure gauge in chrome. Arnott's handlebar mounted two button switch with digital LED display enables you to quickly adjust your Arnott air shocks and see the pressure value in pounds per square inch, PSI. Arnott's LED switch is designed to work with Arnott's proprietary distribution valve and manifold and most likely will not work with non-Arnott air suspension kits. Installation Step 1 Using a thread sealing compound or Teflon tape, thread the pressure transducer into one of the locations on the air manifold. On Arnott's monoshock applications, the pressure transducer can be attached to the air manifold remotely. Mount the handlebar switch to the clutch perch and route the wires under the fuel tank toward the battery. You will need to locate a wire on the motorcycle wire harness that produces 12 volts when the motorcycle ignition switch is turned on. This will be the power source for the digital display. Confirm that the voltage in the selected wires actually switched to the motorcycle ignition using a voltage meter. Otherwise, the display will never shut off and drain down the motorcycle battery. Crimp the included wire tap to the wire. Follow the wiring diagram at the end of the installation manual included with your LED switch package to complete the remaining electrical connections. Air the system up and spray the transducer and hose connections to the manifold with soapy water to confirm that there are no air leaks. As you inflate the system from zero PSI, you will see the pressure value on the digital display increase. It will increase until the pressure required to lift the motorcycle is reached. The pressure in the system will then remain at this value for a few seconds while the shocks fill with air. Once the shocks are fully extended, the pressure value will increase again. Because of this, you will usually need to inflate the system 10 to 20 PSI past your preferred riding pressure. Then let a little air pressure back out until your desired number is reached. The pressure range of the display is 0 to 175 PSI.